to give you a brief presentation on evolution of airplanes and air transport. So, what is an airplane? Mm, oh yes, an airplane is a powered fixed wing aircraft that is propelled forward by thrust from a jet engine, propeller or a rocket engine. One of the oldest helicopter designs dates back to 1493, almost 450 years earlier than an actual helicopter would take to air. And a helicopter designed by Leonardo da Vinci, it was designed to work by having four four men running in the central circular platform around the central shaft. This would rotate everything on the helicopter apart from the men's running board. The Boeing 747 was the world's biggest passenger aircraft from 1970 until it was surpassed by the Airbus A380 in 2005. And the first airplane was invented by Shivu Talpade in Mumbai, Maharashtra in, 19, in 1895. The fuel was iron non, but but the but the flight last but the plane lasted only for a few minutes at after flight. Then he started making more and more aeroplanes. But the British government said he must he is making bombs out of aeroplane. He should be arrested, and they and they arrested. Shivkar Talpade and when he came out in 1905, he came to know two years ago in 1903, the Wright brothers had made and showed the world that their aeroplane. So that's why so that's why we say Wright brothers invented the airplane. Airplanes come in a variety of sizes, shapes and wing configurations. The broad spectrum of uses for airplanes include recreation, transportation, military and research. I hope you found my video informative. Thanks for your time. Our project is Coin Revolution. We are presenting we are presenting various coins have in different values. Such as such as pesa, ten pesa, twenty pesa, twenty five pesa. This coin. This coin. This coin are introduced by the woman. Now my, now my brother Meda will tell you some, something, something more about coins. The size. The size. Yes. Here, as you can see, the size, shape, and design of of all coins change in different years, but the value of coins remains same. Over over period of the over period of time the system of pesne over period of time the system of pesne has been I'm going to talk about the history of road transport and its progress. In ancient time people used to go from one place to another place and transport goods by walk or on the animal's back, like camel and donkey, etc. The first vehicle that human invented, it was cart, like horse cart, camel cart and baluk cart. People still using baluk cart in rural areas. After that, humans invented cycles. Then human invented an engine vehicles like car. Bus.
etc. These are the latest means of road transport. Thank you. My project name is Ancient Sand Clock. What is sand clock? A sand glass is used to measure the, time, the passage of time. A sand clock has upper chamber and a down chamber. The substance fall, fall in the down chamber. How it is made? It is made up of cardboard and it has the red tip of its side corner and it is covered of straws and it has some tape on the straw of color of pink. Thank you. Advantage of sand clock In ancient time, people used sand clock to measure the time. And a project on evolution in lifetime in which I will show you the difference between Stone Age and Modern Age. Stone Age is a history while Modern Age is in present. The Stone Age began more than 2 million years ago and ended around 3300 BC. In this age, stone, stone was widely used to make tools and after that for, for making fire for cooking for making fire for cooking uh, but they used to live in caves eat, eat uh, and meat and fruits eat meat and fruits and wear animal skin clothes in modern age our society is well organized with modern tools and technology. It makes our life easier. The modern man eats, we eat, purify our food and water. The daily usable things were made of wood and iron. We the way we use a dish still remains the same. During Stone Age, man relied on forest shells and sticks. Rewak and these were used to store food. Often animals as a part to store and carry food. The new stone era brought was pottery. Pottery able to store and carry food. Iron Age and Bronze Age. Iron Age and Bronze Age is the discovery of iron and bronze to make utensils benefited. As the society humanity grew across the world, we discovered new more things that are copper, teflon, aluminum, and iron. Copper is used from 9000 BC. Bronze is used from 3000 BC. Iron is used from 400 AD. Teflon is famously known as by an accident in April 1938. Though the development and evolved where all in so many years, all methods, materials and tools starting from Stone Age are the part of our even today. Thank you. During Stone Age, these are the days in which man kept the food. This is the bag like container in which liquids are kept. In the new Stone Age, this is the pottery that were made with sand to cook and
and serve food. These are the Iron and Bronze Age materials. This is the iron utensil. This is the bronze bottle. This is the cookware material that we use. Welcome to the Old and Time Kitchen Cookware. Changes in cookware revolves a lot from ancient time to modern time, like clay, stone, brass, bronze, and copper. This is gas stove. People cook food on it. It gets also health benefit. Now please have a look in modern kitchen. This is modern gas stove. It is used for cooking. And this is modern microwave oven. It is used for baking. Modern kitchen cookware cooks very fast. And we are going to talk about evolution of telecommunication. In year 1876, 29 year old Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone. This is, this is how it used to look. In year 1903, he received a patent for his revolutionary new invention. In year 1926, the first phone call was made from London to New York. In year 1973, Ma Ma Martin Cooper invented the first mobile phone. In year 1991, in year 1991, 2G technology was introduced. In year 1992, the first SMS was sent. 2001 till today, we have seen lot of tech, we have seen lot of upgrade in mobile phones. Mobile phones, keypads, replace touch screens. It had features like play games, Cameras and music. I'm going to tell you about the generation of telephones. The first telephone was invented by Alexander Graham It didn't have any dials or numbers. People had to call operators to make calls from cross, bar countries. Bar countries or A ray of light breaks the darkness around and begins a new journey. Evolution of lighting. As we move ahead, we look in the journey of lighting starting from torches to lamps to electric bulbs and now, today's, now to today's modern LED lights. Torch one of the 
oldest lighting devices is the torch. A portable light made up of a long stick with burning resins. Torch is a symbol of life, enlightenment and hope. One of the more notable uses of torch is as Olympic torch which is used to burn Olympic flame. With time torches were replaced with oil lamp. Oil lamp An oil lamp is a lamp used for burning by lighting oil. It was invented in the stone age. Oil lamps consisted of vessel containing a wick soaked in oil. In 19th century, oil lamps were replaced by kerosene lamps. Kerosene lamps. It is a vessel containing kerosene and a wick to, to burn, to provide light. Kerosene lamps were widely used in the 19th century when kerosene first became plentiful until the development of electric lighting. Uh, compared to oil lamps, kerosene lamps are safe, efficient and easy to operate. Candles Candles have been a source of light and to illuminate celebrations for more than 5,000 years. It was used to light homes, help travelers in night and in religious ceremonies. Though candles aren't a major source of light, they continue to grow in popularity and use. Electric bulb the major development in the history of lighting was the invention of light bulb. Light bulb uses electricity to produce light. The first practical light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison in the year 1879. LED lights LED stands for light emitting diode. In modern apartments and schools, LED lights are used in large amount. This is because LED lights are energy efficient. Compared to other lighting devices, LED lights last long. This was about evolution of lighting. I thank my institute. My topic is History of Phones. This was the first telephone invented in 1876 by Alexander Graham. People used to dial the operator to make calls. It was neither easiest nor fastest way to make this is the mouthpiece where we can speak to the other person. This is the earpiece where we can hear of people. This is the earpiece where we can hear to other, other person. In 1960s, number
displaying their time. There are various types of clock like cuckoo clock, grandfather clock, pendulum clock and hour clock. But I will tell you two kinds of clock. First is pendulum clock and second is sand clock. So let us begin with pendulum clock first. The first the pendulum clock is a clock that uses a pendulum, a swinging wheel, and as it is a timekeeping element. The advantage of pendulum for timekeeping is that it is a harmonic oscillator. It swings back forth in a brace and in time interval on its length. And this is swinging back on the ring. The first pendulum clock was invented by Dutch scientist and inventor Christian Heiden and patented the following year. Heiden contracted the construction of his clock to clock make a Salomon poster to actually build the clock. Heiden was inspired by the investigations of pendulums by Galileo Galilei in the 16th century. Now, let us hear some information on sand. I have made the sand clock with wasted cardboard, ribbon, rangoli as a white sand and plastic ball. So now we will hear some information on the string of sand clock. The first sand clock or hourglass is said to have been invented by a French monk called Louis Park in the 8th century. As the it measures by the descent of sand from one glass bulb to another. First appeared in European ship inventories in the 14th century. So now there are men, uh, now we have learned two kinds of clock. The first is pendulum clock and second is hour clock. But what about clocks we are using now? They are modern clocks. So let us hear information on modern clock. After the invention of mechanical clock, the big, next big evolution came after 500 years ago. The first modern mechanical clock was invented in the 14th century and the, it was invented by Peter Hamlin and Germany. Heritage 
Satellite Fly Gateway of India. Land fill and evolved movement to significant ground in the last 200 years, making it the busiest city 24 by 7 and the financial capital, uh, capital of India. Thank you. We use clock to measure the time. It is very useful and helps us to lead our routine life. The clock is the oldest human inventions. Satellite. It was created in 3500 BC. It was the first instrument to measure the time. Sun creates shadow uh, on sundial and we use the uh, we use to tell what time it is. Since sundial uh, uh, sundials open uh, depend on sun, they can only uh, be used during the day. This is what a clock. It was created around 14,000, 1400 BC. Water drips down and collect at the bottom um, container. And with the help of markings, we can know the time. This is, uh, this is the hour uh, glass. It was created in the 14th century. Sand falls at the certain rate and with, with that we can know how much is passing. How much time is passing. This is the candle clock. It was used at night to know the time. There are marks on the side of the candle through which we can know the time. This is called, uh, uh, this is a pendulum clock. It was developed in 1656. It uses a swinging pendulum to keep track of time. This is a digital clock. It was developed in 1972 by watch company called Ham Hamilton. I am going to show you some of the versions of our national flag before Teranga came into existence. The first national flag was designed by Sister Devideta. It was hoisted on 7 August 1906 at Parsi Bagan Square, Kolkata. In the same year, another flag was designed by Madame Bika Jikama. It was exhibited in Berlin. The third flag was designed by Annie Besant and Lok Manet Tilak during the Home Rule Movement in 1970. In 1921, a young man named Pingli Bentia designed a flag with the powerful symbol of spinning wheel. A decade later, in 1931, a resolution was passed adopting a tricolor flag as our national flag. The final Tiranga came about in 1947. While the colors remained same, only the symbol of spinning wheel was replaced by Ashoka Chakra. The flag is designed by Pingli Venkia from Machli Patanam. It is a tricolor flag. Saffron stands for courage and sacrifice. White stands for truth and peace. Green stands for prosperity. In the center, we have Ashoka Chakra, the emblem. Every year, on 15 August, our, our Teranga is halted by our Honorable Prime Minister at Red Fort, a historic fort in the city of Delhi. Thank you. Friends. The first railway in the history of a uh, was a wagon way train pulled by horses in 600 BC. Richard Thirdick built first steam locomotive named Penn Wyderin for island transportation.
Expedition in South Wales at London. 1805. First commercial railway was opened by Carrion Marsham and Godstone Goods. Now I will tell you how steam engine works. It converts heat energy of steam into mechanical energy. It passes the steam into a cylinder where steam pushes the cylinder back. Now I will tell you about diesel engine. Diesel engine works on a speed of 177 km per hour. Electric train. Electric train works on a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Maglev trains. Maglev trains runs in the speed of 431 kilometers per hour. Hyperloop. The future of trains. It runs on the speed of 1019 kilometers per hour. My topic is a one the purification. I have come in, come here to show a river. It is a natural resource of water, but we can't drink. So now I will tell you ways to purify water. by Jenkins and was built in 1928. 
it was also known as CRT. Initially, all the TV looked like a box. They had a large wooden frame and set of floor like a furniture. The older TV had black and white display that had buttons for changing channels and volume. It used antennas to pick up the programs. After black and white TVs, it was the time to spread some colors in everybody's life and bought to another creation of flat panel technology. But now the television has become wider and bigger in size. They have flat and wider screen. They, the screen has HD displays that help the that can make the images crisper and colorful. Now the smart television can connect it to internet and multimedia experience. Now you can see the television has evolved. There was a long few first country who used coins. India coins change. India coins change size, shape, material and maintaining techniques. I will show you some coins from my grandfather's collection. These are pre-British coins. Before 16th century, copper, silver, bronze, and gold. These are British India coins. This was the time of 16th century owner onwards. Coins were issued owner of Queen Victoria. To Anna, this, are, this is for Anna and this both are Queen Victoria coins and this all are the coins of Queen King George V. This is after independence. This is one pesa, two pesa, three pesa, five pesa, five, five pesa, ten pesa. One rupees coin and this is old 10 rupees coin and these are the coins which we use nowadays. This is the history of 50 pesa coin. British India coin. 50 pesa coins after independence. Gandhiji is on this 50 pesa coin. Nehruji and this is Indra Gandhi ji. These coins maintain different years. I hope you love my grandfather's collection. And I also hope I, you like my video. Evolution of pencils. Pencils are used for writing and drawing. This pencil was be invented by Nicholas Jacques Ponty in 1795. This pencil was be invented by Corna Geezer in 1800. Hindustan uh, pencils is the India's most biggest manufacturing manufacturing company. Pen color introduced uh, mechanical pencils in 2000. From this project, I have learned the evolution of pencils. Third A. My school name is Anandalmia High School. Today I will show you my Nirman project, Kokovar. Utensils are very useful for us because we can eat food cook food and we can store food in it. There are so many types of utensils in the world. Mud pot, wood utensils, bronze utensils, silver utensils,
copper utensils, non-stick utensils, steel utensils and iron utensils. Non-stick utensils are very good utensils for us because it takes very less oil to cook food. Silver utensils are very costly utensils because it uses in world shape and it kills the germs present in the food and it increases the taste of the food. Bronze utensils are very good for us because it kills the germs present in the food and it also increases the taste of the food. Copper utensils are very good for us because they also kill junk present in the food and people likes to drink water in it. Mud pot. Mud pot is very oldest utensils in the world. Mud pot increase the food value and quality. Mud pot. We in mud pot we can cook food, store water and we can eat food. Steel utensils. Steel utensils are very common utensils and cheap utensils. Iron utensils is the good conductor of heat. Iron utensils increase the food. There is a lot about the tools we used. So let's step back to see how people has developed Indian ancient cookware. Stone cookware. Around 30,000 years ago, people developed stone cookware. This stone is generally used for grinding and crushing. Clay cookware. It is one of the oldest cookware human invention. This large ancient pot is used for cooking and storing. This clay tawa is used for making pulkas. Glasses are used for drink and bowls are used for eat. The next major step in history of cookware is metal. Copper is first metal human invention. It is used for cooking and storing water. It has antibacterial properties. Cast iron. It is addition to any kitchen. It is required as the minimal amount of oil. Bronze. It is also called as Kasa. It is used since the period of Sampita Kala. It is also called as the hands of grace. Ayurveda further taught us that eating and drinking from Kasa is well as benefit for our health. Stainless steels. Nowadays it is most common material to any household cookware. The problem is that it doesn't conduct well heat. So some stainless steels are made with copper or iron core. Last but not the least, we are back to traditional cookware last for the years and are chiefly one time investment. My mother and grandmother still use them in her daily cooking. Thank you. weapons from older age to modern age. I will let you know the weapons which people have used from stone age to modern age. People have used weapons in warfare, hunting, self-defense, law enforcement and criminal activity. Weapons also serve other purposes in society like in sports, demonstrations, historical displays, etc. Major innovations in the history of weapons is from stone and wood to different metals. As technology has developed throughout history, weapons have changed with it. This is bow and arrow used it in the stone age. The earlier 
people used bow and arrows for hunting and warfare this is for it was used around 3300 bc they are made from arsenical bronze and now is the modern pistol gun and military tanks 20th century so a large increase in weapons innovations use of weapons have both advantages and disadvantages in our society innovations of modern weapons have helped with in warfare against our enemies but at the My name is Advaita Hande from class 3A. I am going to tell you all about history of television. Television has become important part of our lives. They they give information and entertain us. The first television was invented by Mr. John Bell in the year 1926. This year was the oldest type of tv it was the mechanical one we had to change the channels and volume by hands the image was black and white in color i will tell you which one is the channel button and which one is the volume button this was the channel button and this was the volume button In the year 1956, first color television was invented. This is a model of a color TV. Remote controls for operating TV were introduced in the year 1956. This made operating TV very easier. Nowadays. We have many types of color TV like smart TV, LCD, and LED. They are based on many display options having HD, OLED, and AMOLED. They give us best picture quality. One such model is display over here, with internet. connectivity and and dts service we can watch many types of programs in this lockdown tv has become a greatest source of entertainment and knowledge we are sleeping or we are awake have you ever wondered that how we calculated times in the past let's go back to the history to see the past time keeping devices the first time past time keeping devices was sun dial sun dial the sun the first sun dial was made in egypt in 1500 bc the t-shaped bar placed on the ground dividing the sunrise and the sunset into 12 parts this is a model what i made for a sun dial Be in be invented by Po 
Pope Sylvester II, improved by father of science, the Galileo Galilei, and finished by Christian Jans. This clock now. The
Leonardo da Vinci was the first guy to sketch a design of aeroplane. But unfortunately, he had never built an aeroplane after many unsuccessful attempts. Fritz Lecher got success in flying a glider. Wright Brothers made the first manned aircraft in the year 1903. It was named Flyer and the first flight was of only 12 seconds. In the year 1904, they improved their design and named it Flyer. Today completed the first successful circular flight. Within 10 years, first comical aircraft was built. It was named Flying Bolt. But due to the World War, mainly aircraft was limited to be used in military purpose. Period after World War II saw a dramatic increase in aircraft design. Complete aircraft design. One of the major state in the aircraft history was the development of jet engine. First jet engine was powered by Germany in the year 1929. It was named T 170H. From there onwards, we saw many developments in aircraft design, terms of speed, capacity of aircraft, and flying duration. Here you can see different models of aircrafts. It is the older generation aircraft and this is the modern generation aircraft carrying more than 300 people. This, this is having engines with the propellers. With the propellers. This is and straight wings. This is having jet engines with sweat back wings. I hope you liked my video.